The UK is ready to move into phase two of its lockdown. Measures to contain COVID-19 will be further eased from next week, with some schools and businesses gradually reopening. It is our intention to allow outdoor markets to reopen from June the 1st, subject to all premises being made COVID secure, as well as car showrooms, which often had significant outdoor space and where it is gen generally easier uh, to apply social distancing. Output in the car industry has dropped more than 14% this year and revenue has nearly halved. A lack of consumer spending also cut retail sales by a record 18% last month. Businesses have been forced to resort to discounts to attract customers, pushing inflation to its lowest rate in four years. Many are hoping life will return to the UK's high streets as soon as they're allowed to roll up the shutters. From the 15th of June, we intend to allow all other non-essential retail, ranging from department stores to small independent shops, to reopen. Again, this change will be contingent upon progress against the five tests and will only be permitted for those retail premises which are COVID secure. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's announcement has been overshadowed by a political scandal. Why can't you be fired? His top adviser Dominic Cummings has been accused of breaching the government's own lockdown guidelines several times. Most recently, he travelled with his family more than 400 kilometres away from their London home, while Britons were told to stay indoors. He and Johnson argue he had done nothing wrong. It does feel double standards, so I think probably he should at least apologize. Many Britons, including lawmakers, scientists and even bishops, have called for Cummings' resignation. But during the same weekend the scandal erupted, many Britons flocked to beaches and showed little concern for social distancing guidelines. The summer months may be crucial to revive the economy, but scenes like this make clear that the real challenge lies in reopening safely. Sibel Karkush, TRT World. Well, for more on the story, let's speak with Patrick Minford. He's a professor of economics at Cardiff University and is a former advisor to the former Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Welcome back to Money Talks, Patrick. Now, as we heard there, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced the latest phase of the reopening of the UK economy, uh, which will consist of non-essential shops being able to reopen from mid-June. How do you assess the government's handling of the reopening of the British economy so far? Well, it's very cautious. And as you know, uh, the, the economy is in, in a bad recession. And the sooner, the sooner this reopening happens, the better. Um, of course, what's happening is that deaths are steadily falling um, and so that I think will boost confidence of people to to reopen and get the government also to be more confident about the reopening process. Now the latest announcement comes as the government uh, implemented another uh, controversial measure and that's the 14-day quarantining of all arrivals into the UK. Uh, some have argued that it should have been implemented at the outset of, of this crisis. Do you think it is a good idea for the government to implement such a measure now? Well, as you say, its timing is peculiar. On the other hand, um, it is part of the whole um, screening process, and there are people coming from overseas who, who have the virus. So I expect it will be a fairly temporary measure, really, because other countries are reopening and uh, are controlling, uh, you know, the uh, the the resurgence of the virus, and so I think that the 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 big problem is most countries are still operating these sorts of quarantine on arrivals, and it will need to be coordinated internationally. Really, how this how this sort of process is uh, reversed. Yes, and of course, the UK has been uh, enthralled by a political scandal that's unfolding involving UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson's top advisor, Dominic Cummings, 
who's been credited with uh, uh, achieving his latest election victory. Now, Mr Cummings, for, uh, for those of us who aren't aware, has been accused of flouting the lockdown rules by driving some 400 kilometres while millions of Britons were uh, under lockdown. He also appeared unrepentant uh, about doing so. Do you think, as a former advisor to a former Prime Minister, do you think Dominic Cummings should resign? No, I don't. I think that uh, the, the, it's been quite clear that he did it. He was ill and he needed, and his wife was ill too, and they needed to find childcare for their son. So I think that this will blow over and he's given a good account of it all. And I think it is clear that from his account that he didn't actually break any rules. So I think, I think that this has been an opportunity for a lot of enemies. Of course, he's made enemies because he is a quite a, uh, the policies he's been advocating haven't been popular with everybody. And I think it'll blow over because he didn't break any rules and uh, the prime minister is backing him. I think uh, we'll get back to substantive things soon. Okay, well, let's hope that is the case for, for the sake of the British economy. Uh, Patrick Minford, a exactly. pleasure as always. Thanks so much.